More than 121 countries are working toward net zero emissions by 2050. But that isn't enough to prevent the Earth's temperature from rising to dangerous levels. Putting a price on carbon can help you efficiently and successfully reduce emissions. It could also offer significant cost benefits. We can design a greener, low-carbon economy as we recover from COVID-19. While the Paris Agreement outlines ambitious goals for reducing greenhouse gas emissions, it allows for greater flexibility to meet them. Article 6 enables the carbon pricing instruments developed by individual countries to inform the next generation of international carbon markets. The bottom-up development of carbon pricing instruments has led to innovation, but the many different approaches make it hard to compare climate actions. To successfully lower carbon emissions, we need reliable carbon pricing. And to get reliable pricing, we need a way to compare climate actions that's simple to use. That's where MAP comes in. The World Bank developed the Mitigation Action Assessment Protocol, MAP, in 2015 to support meaningful assessment of diverse climate actions. MAP provides a standardized framework for assessing the strengths and weaknesses of climate actions within different country contexts. Through initiatives like the World Bank's Partnership for Market Readiness, Networked Carbon Markets, and Climate Warehouse, and in collaboration with partners and clients, we leveraged diverse international expertise to develop this tool. And the MAP tool will continue to evolve as climate markets and carbon pricing instruments develop. The tool includes modules made up of key indicators that each reflect a best practice. And each indicator includes a checklist of activities with a score to measure achievement. Each module is independent from the others, so you can add or remove modules based on your needs. With the support of the Partnership for Market Readiness, we're adding two new versions of MAP. Domestic Carbon Pricing Instruments, MAP CPI, and International Transfer Readiness, MAP ITR. These tools are not instrument specific and will help identify common building blocks and track progress over time. MAP CPI helps countries evaluate their existing efforts to integrate CPI into their overall policy package. It can also identify gaps and important actions. MAP CPI is divided into four modules. CPI Policy and Planning, CPI Regulatory and Policy Frameworks, Institutional Framework, and CPI Design and Technical Infrastructure. MAP ITR can help determine whether a country has the right institutional framework and infrastructure to participate in international carbon markets. It has been piloted in 13 countries. It's divided into four modules, Party Readiness, Article 6.2 Implementation, NDC Completeness, and Unit Transfer Authorization. Negotiations on international carbon markets are ongoing, but you shouldn't wait to implement mitigation policies. MAP tools can help. They can assess and benchmark your climate actions compared to other countries and be used internally across key ministries and stakeholders. To start using the tools today, visit maap.worldbank.org.